you have a good Christmas? It's been a while since I've got to sit down with all of you all together like this. Yeah, did you have a good Christmas? Yeah? Yeah, did you go see family? Yeah. Did When you went to see family, did you get to, like, hear stories, uh, the adults talking and they told stories? Yeah. yeah, when I was your age, I don't know if you guys experienced this, but when I was your age, um, the adults would always talk about people that they hadn't seen in a long time that maybe grew up in their hometown and whether or not they were married or if they were had kids or if they were had any illnesses or if they changed jobs, like all this boring stuff that I didn't want to hear about, right? Did you, did you have to listen to any of that stuff? People that you didn't know, never heard of before, but your parents and their parents knew all about, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes we tune out. Do you tune out when that happens? Do you go play, do something else and tune out? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. Now, does that ever happen when you're talking to anybody else? That you tune out? Your parents say, I need you to go clean your room. Do you just tune out? I didn't hear that. No? You're not going to admit to it, are you? No. Good, good, good. good plan. Good plan. Yeah. Um, but how about when you talk to God? See, I find sometimes when I'm talking to God, like I pray to God, you pray, yeah, pray, and so you're saying stuff to God, but then when it comes time to listen to what God has to say, I tune out, or more likely what I do is I start thinking about something else, like the Chiefs lost last night, I'm sad, yeah, like that, and then I don't hear what God has to say. Anybody else have that problem? Yeah. So, um, today we're going to talk about listening to, to God when He speaks to us. And um, I would tell you that, uh, that what I'm going to tell them, spoilers here, what I'm going to tell them is you have to listen. And sometimes listening can be hard. And we learn a lot about listening at school and listening at home. And we do a pretty good job of it when we have to. But when, when someone isn't talking like directly at us, sometimes we stop listening. And the only way that we can hear God talk to us is if we listen to what God might say, which is really hard sometimes. And it makes it seem like God doesn't talk to us anymore. That God doesn't talk to, to you directly. And I, I bet God does. I bet God does. But it's hard to listen. So I don't have any like good advice about how to listen, because you know how to do that. But you kind of have to, to listen if you want God to speak to you. Okay? It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. You've got to listen. And um, sometimes you might have to have somebody else if they agree that this was what God was saying to you. Because if God tells you all of a sudden you should go eat every cookie that you find in the kitchen, it's probably not God talking. <laughs> right? So you might want to ask your mom if that's what God would say to you. But if God is telling you, if God is telling you that you should go talk to your parents about something, you should probably listen. So um, you gotta listen for what for what God is trying to say. Okay, right. that's that's the word I have for you today. Let's pray before you go. God, um, we know that oftentimes we talk to you like we're talking to you now, and often um, we don't take the time to listen. So help us to listen to you. Help us to listen for what you would say to us, because I believe that you would talk to each and every one of these young people here and that you would have something important to tell each one of them. So help us to listen to you. In your name, amen. All right, thank you for today. I'll see you next time.